From eight, we are down to just two as New Japan Cup USA 2020 continues. Hi everybody, my name is Chris Charlton and every week, as soon as Strong finishes on njpwworld.com, I'll be here to talk you through some of the highlights, speak to some of the big names and give you a taste of what's to come because Strong isn't finished until we finish Strong. Now in just a few seconds, we're about to get into spoiler territory. So if you haven't yet, seen episode two of NJPW Strong, make sure you get to njpwworld.com right now for the best hour of pure professional wrestling you're gonna see anywhere all week. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what you get from the king of sports streaming services. But to get to the tip of the tip of the iceberg, today it was all about New Japan Cup USA 2020 on NJPW Strong. There you see the bracket, Kenta, and David Finley is your New Japan Cup final next week, next Friday night, your main event at 10 Eastern, 9 Central on NJPW Strong. But that wasn't all we got to see tonight on Strong. We started off tonight's action with the debut of Jordan Clearwater in NJPW, teaming with the LA Dojo's Clark Connors against some more names that perhaps you guys might not be as familiar with, made their debuts in Lions Break last December, Logan Regal and Barrett Brown. Connors and Clearwater, certainly an impressive combination, showed their strength, showed their ability, but it was Barrett Brown with the wherewithal to score a quick roll up and a quick victory to start off strong. Now, speaking of quick, if you blinked, you would have missed something in the second match of the night. Six man tag team action, with some big returns and big debuts. Big returns, my goodness, as if your Friday nights weren't super enough. ACH is back in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He teamed with Alex Zane tonight and TJP, taking on the familiar, if mysterious, Mysterioso, debuting independent sensation Blake Christian and the South African superstar PJ Black. Ring of Honor's PJ Black making his New Japan debut and hitting an impressive springboard 450 to pick up the W here tonight on Strong. But it was all about the New Japan Cup tonight. Friday nights at NJPW Strong, the best wrestling on the planet and the biggest tournament that the world is talking about. David Finley opposite Tama Tonga in one of our semi-finals tonight. Our first semi-final matchup, all the speculation was that would it be about the Gunstun or the Prima Nocta, two very similar finishes pitting pit against each other. Tamatonga showed his versatility, showed his endurability and adaptability, but at the end of the day, it was David Finley scoring that Prima Nocta and putting himself into the final next week, where he will face Kenta. And this match was hotly anticipated all week. The strikes of Kenta versus the suplexes of Jeff Cobb, and in the end, it was Kenta getting the Somewhat tainted victory, you have to admit. Kenta was troubled by the power of Jeff Cobb, but just as Jeff was about to take little K on a little tour of the islands, the referee pulled in the path, a low blow, a roll up, and Kenta getting the win, albeit with an asterisk. But hey, let's face it, a win's a win. Kenta doesn't really care what the viewing audience can think. All he cares about is getting victory, and that's the man David Finley is gonna to have to face next week in our main event on NJPW Strong. So it's that highly motivated Kenta that will do anything to get results that my guest this week on Finish Strong will have to face next week in our main event at 10 Eastern, 9 Central on NJPWWorld.com. David Finley, thanks for joining us. And first of all, congratulations on getting to the final of New Japan Cup USA. Thank you very much. I feel quite accomplished. <laughs> it must have felt pretty good for you, especially to get that win over Tamatonga, considering what happens to you and Juice in the IWGP Tag Team Championships in Atlanta back in February. Yeah, it felt really good. It felt uh, like the closest thing to redemption that I could get as of right now. So it, it felt good knowing that one-on-one, -on -one, clean, I can beat Tamatonga. Uh, Tamatonga. <laughs> but one-on-one -on -one clean and then one-on-one -on -one not so clean in the other side of the brackets. You had to have seen what happened with Jeff Cobb and Kenta in our main event tonight. And you know, th does that have you worried at all that, that Kenta will stoop to those depths? Um, a little bit. 
Uh, I wasn't expecting that, to be completely honest. I figured, well, there's nobody. I was expecting more of a run-in from Bullet Club, I think, and uh, obviously that didn't happen. But uh, Kenta cheating did kind of take me by surprise. Uh, so I'll have to keep my head on a swivel in the finals. But uh, it's something I can't handle. And, you know, that's something I think all week we were expecting this battle of the Gunstun versus Prima Nocta, a very similar uh, kind of style between you and Tamatonga. And, and in a way, a kind of similar styles between you and Chase Owens in the, the opening round, that, that classical style approach. Kenta, very much more of a, a strike based focus than you take to the ring. What's your game plan when it comes to next week in our main event? I have to out wrestle him. Uh, I'm not going to win the striking fight for sure. Um, yeah, just attack his weak points. He's got dodgy shoulders, dodgy knees. Go after that. Just ah, have to out wrestle him. And. You know, at the end of the day, you've come kind of full circle in a sense. When you, you first had your first singles match back from, from shoulder injury back last November, um, you were challenging for the IWGP United States Championship. Then, of course, Lance Archer, uh, now a different figure in John Moxley. And, you know, it, it's all, as I said, come full circle for you. Uh, some special ties, I imagine, between you and the United States Championship. Yeah, it's a title that I've had a few opportunities to chase and just never could win the big one. So I feel this is my opportunity to finally catapult myself to the next level and become IWGP United States Champion. All right. So just finally to, to wrap us up real fast next week, it's the final of the, the first ever New Japan Cup USA. You could easily be a part of history next Friday night on Strong. Any final thoughts? This is one of the biggest matches of my career, for sure. Kenta is one of the biggest Japanese stars currently, uh, for sure. So beating Kenta in the finals, being the first ever New Japan USA Cup winner, uh, there's a lot on the line for me. This is a big, could possibly be a very big career moment for me. All right. Well, we'll find out next Friday night, 10 Eastern, 9 Central, 7 Pacific on njpwworld.com. Best of luck to you, David Finley. We'll find out next week. Thank you. So there you have it. Strong words from my guest David Finley tonight for NJPW Strong next week. Your main event, David Finley, Kenta, who will walk away being the first New Japan Cup USA 2020 winner. But so much more to come next week on Strong. NJPW1972.com and at NJPW Global on Twitter for full card announcements, including the return next week for the first time in over six months, Switchblade Jay White in action. What's going to happen? You'll find out next Friday night, 10 Eastern, 9 Central. And that's not all you get from NJPWWorld.com. Summer struggle continues August 26th and 27th live from Corocrane Hall. And then it all happens Saturday, August 29th, Jingu Stadium for the first time in 21 years. Five title matches on a stack card or headline by Tetsuya Naito challenging for the IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental Championships against Evil, the King of Darkness. So it's all coming up on njpwworld.com. Check out that website for the full streaming schedule and start times in your area. That's it. We've finished strong for this week. Thanks for joining me. I've been Chris Charlton. Thanks to my guest, David Finley, and we'll catch you next time. Go kiyenyo. Sayonara.